Hey, hey, everybody. I'm Jeff Pollard, SolarPowerThePeople.org and Jeff Pollard 11 on Instagram. We have another exciting episode with another great guest. Who are you? What are you about? Hi, my name is Mara. Um, I'm the founder of Sunflower Nannies. I have a nanny placement agency in LA. Very cool. Now, if we need a nanny, we can call you. Is that what I'm hearing? Yes, you can. <laughs> there are minimums, a uh, minimum 20 hours a week okay. uh, and $30 an hour. So these are for parents who want, you know, a professional nanny, a career nanny, uh, maybe somebody with educational background or who's been a coach or music teacher. Um, it's not your run of the mill college student because we try to work with people who this is their main job, okay. which makes them more reliable. Yes. Uh, okay. I've, you know, I've actually known a few people in the past that have done versions of this. So do you have even a, a tier system? You kind of mentioned college people. So do you have things like based off of, you know, uh, you know, experiences? Oh, I've done 10 years of this, or I speak another language or do you anything of that nature? Yeah, we actually do have a tiered system. Um, I, we just put it in place this summer because we noticed just, you know, we try to make things, um, I guess, accessible for everybody and to kind of ebb and flow with the market. So we do have a really basic um, package called the essential package. So $500, we send you three nannies and then you choose one and there's a thousand dollar placement fee. Um, everybody's vetted, background checked, fingerprinted, reference called um and then there's a middle package where we do all the scheduling for you so you don't even have to worry about anything you don't have to coordinate um everything's handled it also includes a 30-day replacement window and that one's a 10 percent fee and then the concierge package that's the higher tier the nannies have minimum five years experience most of them have a degree in education child development maybe they've been a nurse um and that comes with you know an nda you get a one year replacement window. So based on how long the nanny's been with you, we make sure that for your money works for you for that year, um, you'll always have childcare and you can always call us. So we're basically your assistant for that time, <laughs> uh, making sure that you always have your childcare needs uh, handled. Terrific. Yeah. So the, 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 the middle person for the nanny and the owner, and you'll, you'll make sure that it's like as stressless as possible for them and stuff like that. Yeah, because it's not all. It's not only just making that initial connection. Okay. It's mentorship. Um, when the nanny has questions, we're that person that they call. Um, some of those gray areas. Oh, the family just asked me to travel with them. What do I do in this situation? What do I expect? That's already gonna be. Um, there's gonna be protocols for that. We set up a contract, um, and the goal is to whoever you hire, they come out after working with you, they're a better person. They're more seasoned. They feel more confident. They love their job. Um, and then they come back to us for their next one. <laughs> so Mara, this is, this is your, your business, your, your baby. How did to, for people to kind of get to know you and stuff, did you grow up uh, in LA, in California? Did you, how, how did this come to be? I, I want people to get to know you also. So I'm from Louisiana. I grew up in a small town, a small college town, Louisiana Tech. I don't know if you've heard of it, Grambling State. Um, but I grew up, I'm the oldest of six. I've been around kids my whole life. I grew up with like grass stains on my knees and like babies on my hip and like building birdhouses with my dad. Um, a really magical childhood. And um, so I was naturally kind of drawn to the Montessori Reggio, the hands-on learning style. Um, and when I came to LA, I thought I wanted to work in fashion. I studied psychology and art. It just seemed like the obvious thing, but it just didn't really do it for me. Sure. Um, and so I found myself taking a break from that world. I got a job as a nanny and it was like the world just opened up. I was spending my days at the beach. I was at the park. I was biking. It was so much fun. It was like, I was a kid again, yeah. um, but I knew it wasn't sustainable. I wanted to have my own family. Um, I ended up teaching with a company called Dream Academy, and um, I was mentored by Dr. Tracy Damoth. She is a PhD from USC, and um, she totally changed my perspective on learning where it can be so tailorized to the child, and you can do group learning, like small groups. Of course, 
COVID happened. And so I had a lot of work, more than I could handle. Um, people were calling me for, um, ref for referrals. And so that's how my referral business started. It started off as kind of private education and then it turned into nannies. Okay. So you, you, you know, kind of collected your own, your own group and was able to build something from that. If I were kind of like a, a, a new person and I wanted to nanny or something, is there a process there that I can kind of get started a, a quick, uh, you know, thing that I could, you know, you don't have to really lay it on us, but a quick one of what I could do to sign up. Yeah, we have a website and there's a literally a button that says for candidates and you can just sign up there. Okay, please say the website. Sunflowernannies.com. <laughs> <laughs> All that information will pop up too, but I always like to have the people say their products. It's like, say it with love. Say it with <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Yeah, we do require a minimum three years experience and three references. Okay, no, that's terrific. Has there been any fun uh, anecdotes, anyone, you know, it could be anything, but like, can you tell us the challenges you might have had or just the rewards or something that have come across that come to the top of your head? Um, one of the challenges a lot of people face is finding after school care. And for an agency, that's also challenging too, because it's such a small window of time. Um, and so then you have nannies who take that job because they don't have a job, but then they get offered a full-time job. And now what do they do? So um, we've put together these after school pods, so after school learning groups. So it's one nanny that can pick the kid up from school and maybe three friends and all the parents chip in and the nanny's making a, you know, a livable wage and you can count on her. Everybody's having fun and sometimes, you know, they're learning together, but usually it's mostly hanging out. <laughs> um, but it's somebody who's, you know, reliable, professional. Um, maybe not every family would be able to afford this type of person on their own but um split up everybody wins that is no that's terrific and I, I really appreciate you actually you know thinking of something of that dialogue where people uh that can't afford everyone wins and everyone pulls together and I, I appreciate you doing that um is there you know a question as a uh, parent or something that maybe they're not thinking of like um some form they need to prepare for document or is there a, a, a typical question you're maybe asked that a, a new parent is uh, maybe unaware of to ask you um, to kind of ease into this or to get into it? Okay. Yeah, a lot of parents reach out to me as soon as they're pregnant. <laughs> oh, well. <wow. laughs> sure, and, I believe it. You know, it's like, it's natural. I think with the daycare system, everybody has to, you know, it's competitive. You have to think ahead. Yeah. Um, but with us, it, we don't book out far in advance. Um, we do take a deposit where I know I can hold your spot for that month. Okay. Um, but sometimes parents will reach out and really the sweet spot is a month. Let me know a month and month before you need your nanny and we can work together. Okay. Um, and I think the other thing too, when parents are trying to weigh the pros and cons of working with a nanny or um, doing the daycare, a nanny share is always a great option. It's kind of that sweet spot in the middle. Like I said, you can split the cost with a friend. And if your kid's sick, you don't have to take off work. Somebody yeah. taking care of them. <laughs> because that will happen. I have a toddler and she spent probably September to November at home and we were still paying for preschool. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but find that sweet spot, everybody. <laughs> don't be too late. Don't be too early. I like that. Mara. I have uh, one more question. It's usually just a fun, spontaneous one. It's uh, more like if you could make the world a better place or less stressful, it could be about anything. It could be, you know, about your business. Um, it's kind of like a little fun way to end it. It could be, I like to go for a run. I like to read a book. It could be, I like to help uh, find people, reliable, you know, nannies. So do you have any advice that came up to the top of your head? I think find a third place that's not work and not home. If you have that place that you can just offload and breathe for parents, for caregivers, whoever, that for me personally has been my saving grace. Okay. I like that. Like a little book note. I switch, note it, or... out. I switch it out. Oh, so it's yeah. never the same place? Not always the same. Yeah. It depends on the season. Yeah. Okay. Oh, man. I really like that. Find your safe haven. It could be anything. I appreciate that.
Well, thank you, Mara. Uh, please, all her information is going to pop up. Sunflower Nannies. You'll find her website and everything in the description box, the boxes and everything. So thank you so much for having this chat and educating us on Sunflower Nannies. Thanks for having me. <laughs> okay, take care, everybody. Hey, hey, everybody, I have some exciting news. I wrote another kid's book, Uncle Dunkle. I drew the pictures, I wrote the story. Please support, I'd really appreciate it. I also wrote The Giraffe and the Lion. That's another one, so collect them all if you have kids or if you don't. It's just a fun read. Really appreciate it. Take care, everybody.